In this video, we will discuss the very important concept of React Native, which is React Navigation. So, uh, I will discuss that why we need React Navigation, how can we switch between the screens, what kind of problem we get in switching the screens, and what kind of options are available in React Navigation. So, this will start with the installation and setting up the React Navigation, basic React navigator creating a very basic react navigator and bringing our screens in the navigator and this is in the end we will create uh, different screens like we work with the three screens this is our home screen without any header and uh, when i click or tap on this i get and uh, come to the next screen and uh, in this screen we have a nice header that is uh, available through the react navigation and it has a default back button which will bring it uh, screen or pop out the screen and will come back to the home screen again and I can navigate from this screen to another screen let's say for example the dashboard if I come back from the dashboard I get back to this home screen uh, this start screen and then I can also directly navigate from this dashboard which is a third screen to the home screen again and uh, also we will use uh, and see that how we can send data because this id is coming from the home screen and this name is coming from the home screen we can also pass data between the screens and we also see that how we can change the parameters that we have received uh, on this screen and it will uh, uh, the way that uh, prop uh, that state and uh, hooks are behaved we can also add the uh, buttons on the header and uh, this uh, header is having uh, the common style and we see that how we can set up this common style so that the same style should be displayed and should be used throughout the screens so let's see how we can do this typical way of working with screens in react native is just like a component and we are switching between those components this is a very basic simple example of uh, switching the components and they act and behave like screens. So it's a kind of a harder way of managing screens. Uh, I have created two screens. One is the home screen which is you can see over here which is screen one and it has a button. And there is another screen which is a dashboard screen. So the, these are uh, a kind of uh, react uh, not a component but uh, gsx we can later on convert this into the component and these can be the components definitely we cannot have all the screens on one app.js file so uh, what's happening over here is initially uh, i'm marking this uh, state or the react hook as a home string so I am just returning that if the current is home, I am returning the home screen JSX, which is uh, a view and uh, all the styles which are uh, provided over here. So this is my home screen and it's having a start button. So when I click on start, it's just uh, changing the state to the uh, uh, to the uh, or the setting the uh, screen to the another screen. In this case, uh, the start button uh, sets the dashboard screen. So in my return when this re-renders, so if uh, current is not home, so it's actually returning the current screen. So in this case, it's the dashboard screen. So if I click on this, so it's uh, it will change the state and it will display the dashboard screen and uh, there is a button again this button back button is uh, uh, specifying that this is my home screen and I need to go back from the home screen uh, from this screen to the home screen so if I click back it again changes the state and uh, this screen is shown with the start button and the start button again changes the screen so managing this thing with the two screens looks not so difficult but when there are a lot of screens and you want to send some data from one screen some some variables some objects from one screen to the another screen you need to create functions and you need to manage uh, with all these uh, navigation kind of uh, stuff with your screens 
and uh, similarly if I let's say for example uh, add another screen uh, after this dashboard screen I need to uh, take take care and uh, track the navigation so that I need to know that from which screen I came from and uh, where do I need to go back when I press the back similarly the back key is not uh, directly available uh, with this and if I press uh, back it's actually closing the application so to that that is actually uh, the problem when we are working with the complex uh, react native projects having different uh, screens and definitely each screen would be a se separate uh, component in uh, react native so uh, let's see how we can manage this kind of situation and what kind of options we have in uh, react native development so handle such situations where we have to manage multiple screens and some other options such as tabs and, and drawer and something like this react navigation is the foremost option that is normally used by react native developers so you can navigate to react uh, navigation.org and uh, we can jump into the docs the current version uh, right now at the time of recording is uh, 5.x uh, there is a huge difference between or the major difference between the version 4.x and 5.x 5 so there is also a guide over here so if you are migrating from version 4 to version 5 there is a huge difference between the syntax so in uh, current version which is 5.x uh, the react navigation is done something like this in this way where uh, navigation is done through the navigation container and they work like uh, components and uh, in previous versions it was created through the uh, create stack navigator and we can specify the screen objects and it's a JavaScript object and it was managed like this so in uh, uh, this version the 5.x version it's uh, a bit uh, different so to start working with react navigation react navigation provides a uh, very easy way to navigate between screens we can send data from one screen to another screen we can decide to have headers or not on our screens and we can do a lot of more things very easily with the help of react navigation to start working with react navigation definitely we need to first install uh, this dependencies and uh, we need to install the react navigation and and uh, we need to do this and also with the uh, react navigation when we are working with Re react navigation we need to install a few more libraries to uh, start working with this and also there is a guide available about the installation instructions and the uh, command line uh, commands available with the expo managed project and also react native cli managed project or react native project so if you are working or developing a react native cli based project you need to install these dependencies and if you are working with the expo manage project we need to install these dependencies to start working with our react navigation so let's uh, do the installations we are currently working with uh, expo manage project so i will install these dependencies uh, in my project so first I need to install the react uh, navigation in my project so I need to stop the execution of my project so that I can install the navigation so I just right click and I will install these navigation so after the installation uh, of uh, react navigation uh, for my expo manage project I need to install these uh, dependencies as well so I will also install these so all the dependencies are installed I can go and 
see the uh, package.json it's been updated and modified and you see that uh, react uh, react Nav native gesture handler has been added native screen has been added in this uh, dependencies and you can also see the react uh, navigation native has been also installed in my uh, current project after the installation of react native uh, we can uh, we can create a navigation container and uh, our application will be inside and other tags will be inside uh, and, and all the other components will be used or the screen will be used to navigate inside this uh, navigation container but to start with our uh, application uh, all the screens are managed as a stack so they comes on top of each other and will be managed and uh, uh, react navigation will take care of all the history of the navigation so they know that how to switch between the screens uh, to do this uh, navigation to manage the stack we need to install the react native stack react native stack actually depends on uh, native community mass view and we already installed uh, over here this is our uh, react native uh, community mass view and we already did that which means that now we need to install the react navigation stack as well because when we work with this stack we need to use the uh, navigation container that would contain our application and also we need to have a stack navigator to manage the stack so initial thing that we will have or the hosting of our screens would be navigation container and all the navigation of the screens would be inside this navigation stack so we will create the stack with the help of uh, create stack navigator and uh, with the help of stack we will be adding different screens and we will be specifying the name of the screen and the component and so on so let's install uh, the react native stack So it's been installed successfully. After the installation of React Native Stack, we can uh, experiment with the simplest example of uh, this uh, React Native example. So I will just copy this one and I will just replace my code with this one and I will start my project. So this is very basic example of uh, react navigation and this is our home screen and you see the default header uh, on the top of this home screen so let's uh, combine our previous uh, components and uh, create our screens and let's navigate so let me bring previously created jsx so it was a dashboard screen and the home screen so uh, the default example available on uh, react navigation official uh, docs uh, you see we have a, a navigation container and uh, uh, because of this import we can import a navigation container over here and we also need to create stack navigator so stack navigator object whenever we create this stack navigator we can uh, create a component like uh, component like navigation over here with the help of stack navigator and uh, we can keep adding the screens over here so let me explain that how this uh, screen works so it has two uh, uh, two props over here so the one is name and second is the component so component prop is actually taking the component name and the name is uh, uniquely identifies and uh, you can access the screen through this name consider it as a variable name for this screen so because this is a just a component name uh, in our screens that we created although we have a home screen component which is by default coming from 
the example that we just copied from the docs and this is our home screen so let's rename it as uh, let's just start screen and this is not a component this is just a constant variable having JSX so let me convert into a component because uh, react navigation works with the components and uh, for this I need to convert this into a component so now this is a function based component which is a start screen and uh, also let me convert this dashboard screen into a component which is a function based component so this is another component and uh, this these components are screens also I need to remove this uh, set current uh, dashboard screen because uh, we are not using this prop anymore so just uh, I'm just creating an uh, empty function all right so uh, to add more screens uh, I can just uh, keep adding the screens let's say for example we have a home screen and I have a start screen and I also have a dashboard screen all right so I can call it let's say for example start and I will call it dashboard all right and uh, by default you see that whichever uh, screen comes first will be rendered and will uh, be shown in the beginning which I brought this up and if I save this uh, you don't see any changes because I have not started my project so I need to start it so we have an error over here because it's looking for the styles and we don't have a style object so let's remove these style objects which was already in the components so here we go we have a start screen over here and you see that a nice header has been shown over here and uh, it uh, states uh, start over here on the header the name of uh, that screen com uh, component and the component that it will be used or will be rendered inside this uh, screen would be start screen and this is our component without any styling and uh, you see that the default component the first component that is loaded on uh, this uh, navigation container is this start screen but we can also change through the navigation uh, I can specify initial route name so initial route name can be any other screen let's say for example I can call it as uh, let's say home so if I refresh it will not reload because uh, one thing with the stack navigation is when you uh, change the screens or uh, the way they first load on uh, on in your application you need to reload your application uh, it's not an error it's not a problem but this is how stack navigation behaves so I need to reload my application so that I can see the difference and the uh, changes that I have made in the uh, configuration of uh, stack navigation so now you see this is my first home screen so which means that uh, it does, does not matter that in which order you put these screens or create these screens inside this uh, stack navigator you can specify the initial screen with the help of initial route name prop so this is how we actually create a screen and uh, this is our components uh, currently we have three components and we have three screens with the help of components and let's navigate between these components see how we can do this so we are currently at home screen I can just go and add a button over here 
and uh, let's give it a title let's begin and uh, I like this style so why don't I create a styles sheet object and put the style and apply on all the screens so let's create styles object with the help of style sheet In styles dot container and I will also use this on other screens so this is a button where I want to begin and when I click on this I want to move and navigate to the next screen so uh, to do this uh, one thing is that whenever we uh, use these components as a uh, screens in uh, uh, react navigation we get a navigation object by default uh, in a component so let's say for example in a function component i get a navigation component over here so let's first convert it into uh, j uh, es6 so i get a navigation object over here and with the help of navigation I can navigate between the screens so uh, on uh, press event I can navigate to the next screen with the help of navigation so on on press event I will create a function over here and I can use navigation and I will use the navigate function to navigate and I need to specify the screen name over here on which I, I want to navigate to so I need to specify the name star dashboard uh, the names which are specified with the screens so let's uh, move it to start so if I save this and uh, I press or click on uh, let's begin it should navigate to the start so this is our uh, start screen and uh, you see a nice back, back button is uh, placed over here for iOS it's uh, less than sign style of back button will be automatically uh, displayed and uh, you see uh, uh, a space has been added over here and the start has been written over here the start is actually the name of the screen that is displayed over here we can also change this and customize this with the help of uh, option props that we will uh, discuss it later so I can also go back from this screen to the home screen and when I click on this I can navigate to the screen I can also press the back button so back button will also work and will uh, bring it back to the previous screen so I can navigate with the help of navigation object and uh, will with the help of navigate method and I specify the screen name similarly I can navigate from uh, uh, this so it's uh, let's begin and it's start so I can call it to go to dashboard and uh, similarly I can use the navigation object and with the help of navigation I can navigate to the next screen So next screen name is dashboard so if I save this if I click on let's begin it's uh, go to dashboard and if I click on this uh, it's on dashboard and this is my dashboard screen and there is a back button although back button is not performing anything so I will program it as well so that back button will go to the previous screen so if I click on back 
it's coming back to the start screen and if I click on the back again and it's coming on the home screen and if I similarly uh, use the back button I can directly uh, go to the start screen from where I came so it's uh, tracking the navigation and uh, uh, taking care of all uh, the screen that I jumped and uh, all the screen that I have navigated through and similarly I can also use the navigation object inside inside this uh, dashboard screen as well and I can perform the back operation so navigation dot go back is a function which can be used to go back to the screen let's say for example you want to uh, you don't want user to use uh, the back keys and you want to put a button and that button performs this back operation so you can also use the go back so it in the navigation it will go back so if i press go back or the back button it will go to the back uh, previous screen and if i click on the dashboard uh, it's coming back again to the screen uh, of dashboard and if I uh, press back and it will work with this as well and it will work with the uh, back navigation option as well I can go back from here as well like this so that's uh, how we can uh, use and pass the navigation object and with the help of navigation we can navigate between the screens so there are uh, some other options available with the navigation such as if I want to bring some screen recursively uh, or want to bring that screen and pass some data on the same screen instead of creating like hundred of screens so uh, for the recursively uh, to show the screen or bring the screen or same screen back uh, again I can uh, use instead of navigate I can use uh, push and let's say for example when I press let's begin I want to show the same screen again so if I click on let's begin you see the same screen has been pushed on the top of the screen and uh, you see now we have a bag option because this is not the first screen this is the second screen and I also uh, do the let's begin again and again this screen has been pushed on the top and if I go back it's popping off the screen and then if I go back again it's popping off the screen and now I am on the on the start screen which is our initial uh, route so that's how we can uh, use the push as well and uh, the help of push is that if you are deep somewhere in the screens let's say for example uh, uh, in the in 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 the screen inside let's for example navigate again and the thing is that uh, if i navigate home it will not navigate which means that if I save this so I'm let's see if I'm stuck somewhere so let's reload so if I am on a home screen and if I try to navigate to the home again uh, it will not navigate because navigation is used for the other screen so I'm just I cannot push that screen back again so it will navigate or look for the screen home and it will not navigate but if I use push it will uh, bring that similar screen again on the top like this let's change it, change it back to start screen so let's begin will take me to the start screen and from the start screen I go to the dashboard how about if I want to add another button over here which is used to bring me back to the home screen so not here but over here so go to home screen and 
and uh, to bring that functionality uh, I need to just pop to top so go to home screen will pop me back to the top or the home screen or the first screen that is uh, used in the initialization of the route or if I'm not using this the first screen would be this one so it will go back to the first screen so I don't need to navigate back pressing back button for the several times I can just uh, uh, pop uh, the screen and uh, the first screen will be shown and all the screen will be popped and uh, I, will, I can navigate directly to the main screen which is our start screen so we can also send data from one screen to another screen uh, with the help of parameters and we can send uh, in uh, in this navigate method we can send second argument as a javascript object which are actually the parameters let's say for example sending a random id and name let's say sending to key value pairs and uh, inside this uh, screen I can receive in the route so I can get through the params so let's say for example receiving the ID through the route dot params dot ID and uh, let's print that ID over here So let's run this. You see that I am receiving that ID uh, over here. Similarly, I can also get the name as well. I can also uh, directly access the route object and params and I can also access the name directly from here, uh, from this route. So I'm getting ID and I'm getting name over here and uh, that's how I can send the object and I can receive the object and definitely I can pass on this object as well. Another thing is that I can also uh, update this uh, parameter and it works like a state. Let's say for example I want to generate a new ID. So uh, over here I can create a button. let's say get new id and uh, on press i will use navigation object and uh, with the help of navigation object i will set the params and uh, I can say let's say for example ID is uh, some random ID maybe so let's do some maths dot floor generate some random ID so with the help of set params I am actually uh, reusing or recreating this this parameter so I'm just uh, creating an object having the ID only you see that this ID has been updated so set params actually work similar to react hooks or the state so as soon as I update the parameters you see that this uh, this uh, the component has been rendered and new uh, these, these params has been changed and new ID has been assigned so every time when I use the help uh, use the set params so I can take the help of set params to modify the parameters that I have received so there might be some situations in your application that when we want to let's say for refresh and get something new and something like this so instead of going back and coming back 
again on this and passing the id so i can do in this way so go back to the dashboard this is home so let's begin and this is my start so i get the new id this so let's customize the header by default the text displayed on the header is the name of the screen we can customize that so let's say for example our initial screen is home screen and uh, i want to customize the text on the home screen we have an uh, option props options prop and uh, we can specify an object and there are several options that we can choose and uh, change our uh, header you can explore more on the options on the react native uh, react navigation uh, api documentation and uh, you can see the options available and some examples are also available over there i will discuss a uh, few of them so let's say for example i want to change this uh, title to custom title that i want to define um, instead of using the uh, default name so uh, that's how i can uh, define this i can also add some more options over there let's uh, bring it into the next line uh, we can also choose uh, that if header should be shown or not uh, let's say for example this is a welcome screen or home screen and maybe i don't want to display the header on this screen but uh, i want to display the header on the others because i want to use the default back button so i have an option over here in the uh, options prop i can use header shown uh, th that is a boolean uh, key, key value pair and uh, by default it's true and i can make it false so uh, i can hide the header like this and i can also do some more customization let's say for example uh, I want to align the title of uh, of the header. So let's say header title align. So header title align is a property which is uh, and also if you see the header title, header title is uh, it also works with uh, same as the title. So header title align. align and in this if i press control space bar i have an option to align on the left or on the center so if i save this and definitely i need to show the header again so by default it's uh, shown so you see that it's uh, aligned in the center and similarly i can choose the color scheme between the background color and the foreground color or the tint color of uh, the header so i can choose header tint color to change the text color let's say for example um, so i can change the tint color and uh, to change the background color we actually have to go to the property of header style and header style itself is an uh, object and uh, uh, it's just like a style object and in this i have uh, several options available and i will choose background color let's say i will make its background color to like, like blue and its color is being changed so let's say for example i make this white so this uh, has been changed over here uh, in uh, the header has been changed of this uh, home screen and we can also do uh, similar things on the other screens as well uh, let's say for example if i go to this and we don't have any header uh, customization over here uh, we can do that that we use these uh, properties which are let's say let's assume we say that these are the common properties that i want to use across the screens so in uh, stack navigator i have an option to add the screen options so 
so these screen options or screen option object will be used across the screens so I will uh, use this and I can let's say for example comment this out and if I save this so in screen options we have the screen and the same scheme is used on the other screens as well let's try go to dashboard and go go to home screen again and if I want to let's say change some of the properties so I can specify with the options for that specific screen uh, it will override the screen options let's say for example if I uncomment this and I don't want to see the headers let's say for example first demonstrate that either it works or not uh, so let's say for example I say that it uh, the home screen should have a different uh, trend color and should have a different uh, background color so this home screen has a different color scheme on the header but other screens will follow the header options uh, which are specified through the screen options and definitely I can say that I want to hide the uh, main screen the home screen and rest of the screen will follow the same color scheme as we have it here uh, we can also uh, do one thing is on the header we can add uh, a header button on the left or the right so the on the left side we already have a back button but let's say uh, a screen has no uh, back option or uh, you want to customize your back button and so on so let's for example on the top right corner over here we want to add some buttons so we we have an option to uh, add uh, header right and header left so header right is actually takes a function which is uh, which should be a react uh, component or react element and uh, let's say for example uh, the simplest way is I use the button and I add the title let's say add it So on the home screen I need to show that screen on the home screen I am adding uh, the or the customizing the header right and in this I have added this button and definitely you will not use the default button uh, available in react uh, react native or the default component you would be using some icon over here let's say for example uh, for editing you will use that uh, pen icon and some other icons and maybe you want to add some save button over here and uh, but to add the buttons we can uh, have the header right and definitely when once you are using our component over here we can send the props uh, to this component and also we can add uh, on press events uh, and so on so that's how uh, we can customize our uh, header and uh, with the header customization we can do this let's say for example add these options instead of this home screen and uh, we add this to the start screen so this is our start screen So we have options over here and we say that the start screen is header is hidden so it says welcome and uh, I can call it uh, some give it a different name let's say possible start here and uh, uh, the background uh, I want to use uh, is that is specified in the screen options so let's uh, use that and I just want to add a header button 
left uh, to the right corner over here so it's in the center and uh, we can also change the height if you want to and this is the back option we have and uh, if I begin and I have an edit button and I can customize this and uh, that's how we can do this and uh, different this is our home screen and maybe I don't want to use this these options because uh, ultimately it's not visible so I can just remove this so we have common screen options over here uh, with the title align in the center and the gray tint color and uh, the light blue background color and uh, we have a start screen where we have uh, the different title with the help of options and we have a uh, header right and uh, it's displayed with the help of uh, screen options and uh, our home screen it has uh, no header and definitely we don't need this anymore now because uh, the title is not displayed so that's how we can customize the header that's the uh, very basics of the header customization you can explore the more options uh, through the api documentation of the react navigation